Hello my fellow party people I hope you all are doing fine. In this video I will show you how to Chris Lorenzo or in general Nightbase. Producer, Remixer, DJ, and Rens FM host, Birmingham UK's Chris Lorenzo is widely acknowledged for pioneering his hometown's emergent and increasingly popular jack-in-house cum bassline hybrid sound, which he terms simply house and bass. His most famous tracks on Spotify are Rhymes and Fly Kicks. What I noticed are the long ass intros over one and a half minutes. In today's video I will take a closer look at the track Into Ghetto, which is a remix by Chris Lorenzo of Skrillex and J Balvin. Let's get into our DAW. Set your BPM between 124 and 128. It's a typical house BPM. Little side fact, do you guys notice anything about the bass in Into Ghetto and in Bad Bitches? Start as usual with the punchy kick drum. For this track he used a Skrillex kick which already has that high kick layer on it. Leading middle frequency hi-hat. Percussion loop of bongos or some sort of. Hard hitting bass on every first. Put down some ambiences and risers. What I heard in almost every Chris Lorenzo's songs are some unique vocals which loop after one sentence. I found that little vocal on GetYarn.io which is by the way a pretty useful site for movie and series quotes. You are such a bitch. Perfect. Let's put some effect on it. Let's get to the Resile bass. It's basically a short 808. Because the bass is so boring I choose to make the open hats a little more unique and pitch the last up. Also the clamp is a little more unique and also by Skrillex. Bitch. Then I created that little lead sound which you often hear in house tracks right before the drop. I pepped it up with that little pitch bend. Give your track that little ur candy and fills to get things going. For the second drop I created that vocal pre-drop and lead pre-drop which is going faster and faster with the endless smile plugin. Then I felt like I can't just put the same drop there again and created that little variation sound and changed the bass pattern. Also put that little pitch bend there.
in tracks like that in which you don't have a lot of layers your mix should already sound really clean without mastering in. That's it actually of the sounds that are used. Let's listen to the end result. That's it for today's video. I really hope you liked it and learned something new. If so, it really appreciate a like and subscribe. As always let me know down below in the comments what how do you would like to see next.